So Ian, we travelled to Stevenage on Saturday, a team flying high at the top of the league. I guess that'll be another tough test for you and the guys. Yeah, um, really, really, really tough test. Um, I think, yeah, Stevenage have done really well um, to be in the position they are, um, considering they were only promoted last year. Um, they've got a really, really good group of men at, the, at that football club. Uh, Going out every Saturday, um, a really tough manager to play against. Um, knows to win games of football at this level and above. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're going there, um, expecting a really tough test, a, a tough fight. And um, yeah, we've stood up, we've stood up to similar um, in recent weeks. So um, I think that'll be our platform going there to to stand up and and have to comp- be compete first and foremost. You come up against the former academy product in Jamie Reed as well, someone who. Scored a lot of goals this season for Steven, I guess. You know, that's something to be wary of. Yeah, it's something to be wary of. Um, it's something something I like to see. Uh, I know Reedy a little bit. I've uh, got a couple, of, a couple of mutual friends with Reedy. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see him on flying form. Um, hopefully he's not on, on, on flying form on Saturday. Um, and uh, and we look after him and, and a couple of more of their dangerous players up front. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be they're gonna be a tough tough team to play against, especially at set pieces and um, balls going forward. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough test. And um, But, listen, we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, we're looking to put things right as quickly as we can. And, um, yeah, Saturday's no better opportunity. We faced them already once a season at St James Park in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season. Does that kind of help with the preparation and give you kind of a bit of an idea of what you're going to come up against? I think so, yeah. I, I, I think I thought we deserved, deserved to win the game um, that night. Um, I thought we were really unlucky with, with some chances we had. Um, I thought we played really well. We were some really nice football. Um, yeah, we, we won the game in penalties, but I think I, t- I thought we deserved to win the game in in, in normal time. Um, obviously, it's it's going to be a, a different mindset, a different approach to to the game. Um, they're obviously touring the league, and and they're probably full of confidence and. We are where we are, so there's probably some of our boys that are a bit low in confidence and, and listen, we're desperate for a result. Um, there's no two ways about it. We need to, we need to get some points um, behind us. and um, Yeah, but listen, we're, gonna, we're looking to go there, uh, implement our game onto Stevenage. And listen, we know if we turn up, we're, we're a match for anybody in this league and we've proved it um, previously in, in the season. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And how is the mood with you guys? Gary said earlier that um, they had an apology from the referee about the offside goal on Saturday. Is it stuff like that that is even more frustrating? Things that are kind of out of your hand as well, are kind of going against you. Yeah, well, I, I spoke to the I spoke to the linesman coming in at half time and after the game, and and he assured me that he's seen a red and white shirt in, in his eye line. Um, but yeah, um, it's not ideal to get a phone call um, on a Monday morning and 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 basically giving you an apology for an offside goal so um, yeah it's really really frustrating um, I think if that gets given offside I think there's only one team that goal goes on and, and looks to win that game um, which is frustrating but um, listen that's football um, we've probably had some offside goals given to us previously so um, it's part and parcel of the game and uh, yeah we move on um, but I, th- I think we did deserve to win the game on Saturday I thought we'd done enough um, I thought we had enough possession enough pressure in, in the opposition box and um, just fell short a little bit and at the other end of the pitch, you can't shy away from the fact that goals have been very hard to come come by in the last, you know, this run that we're currently on. I mean, we're creating a lot of chances, like you said, you know, the amount of crosses that we had that went into the box against Port Vale, but we just can't seem to get on the end of it. I mean, how do we fix that? Yeah, um, good question. Um, I think we need to keep putting the ball in the box. Um, I think we need to keep doing what we're doing because it's clearly working. Um, it's just the final bit that we're... We're lacking um, arriving in the box. Time and time we're running the box, it, it has been a little bit off lately. Um, and confidence in front of goals is is a big thing. Um, confidence anywhere on the pitch is obviously a big thing as well. So um, as long as we keep putting the balls in the box, we can ask questions of who's not in there. Um, I think I'll get I'll start getting worried if we stop doing. Uh, what 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 we've been doing recently, I I'll get worried if we stop putting the ball in the box. So, um, yeah, we're under no illusions. The the lack of goals we're we're, we're getting, and but we're creating chances. And I think if we limit the opposition to to small number of chances, I think we'll, we'll always create chances. And 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 I think the goals will start coming. 
We've got a lot of younger players who are on their first ever professional loans as well at the moment. How do you keep morale up with those guys and keep their heads up? Because I guess it's, there's a lot of pressure and it must be tough for all of you. Yeah, um, I think me and a couple of other lads will, will be taking responsibility for that as well as the manager and, and the coaching staff. Um, I think coming into the season, we could see there was there was a few young lads, um, a few first-time loaners, which which was always going to be a bit of a bump in the road at some stage. <coughs> um, I think it's all it's always difficult when you start off the way we did in the season. I think everybody's expectations uh, triple. So um, yeah, um, we've got our arms we've got our arms around them uh, over the last couple of weeks, and we've had some some conversations and and some a bit of tough love and and a bit of, a bit of love as well. So um, yeah, it's important we we keep the our younger players um, level headed and. Keep giving them confidence because they are good players. We are a good team, and we just need to get back to where we know we were capable of them and where we have been previously. I think you said it in your column this morning, but you know everyone's on the same page. Everyone's fighting for the same goal here. You know, there's there's no frictions in the team. There's no issues with the manager. Everyone's on the right page. So it's very much about just getting that positive result and going from there. Yeah, um, I, I think I think people have probably seen it a couple of times. Uh, a few people saying, I think if we get that that win, I think it'll kick starters again. I think it will give us a massive boost. Um, I think it will give 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 the fans a massive boost. Um, I don't think we're playing badly. Um, I, I think in the last twelve games, maybe maybe two games off the top of my head that we haven't turned up in. Um, I, I think a lot of them games we've turned up and we've. We've probably dominated the game. We've dominated the opposition, but there's there's been small details that have let let us down in them games. And um, yeah, it, it it's bit us in the backside. So um, yeah, we're looking to put things right, and and there's no better time to do it than and straight away on Saturday against Stevenage. Um, I think for us, I think um, b- league positioning is is irrelevant. <clears throat> I think even if we were playing top of the league or a team that was bottom of the league, I think uh, it's a must win for us or to. It's a must. We need to get a, a, a result. Um, so I think league position and form is irrelevant for us at the minute. So I think we need to we need to go to Stevenage, try and implement our game, um, and go there and compete. Because if we don't compete, uh, we will come out empty-handed. There was a clear reaction from some of the fan base on Saturday at full time. I guess you can understand, you know, their frustrations and they just want to see you win and get back to how we were in September. I mean, do you have a message for those guys just to kind of stick <coughs> with us? Yeah, um, listen, it, it is frustrating. Um, I think we could hear the fans' frustration. Um, but I'm in the change room every day uh, after every game and there's there's definitely some frustrated bodies. Um, frustrated management, uh, more than us probably. Um, they definitely want want us to turn this around f- for the fans and, and for us and the club especially. Um but I think we are playing some really good football. Um, we are competing against teams, um, and stick with us because uh, we've got five games now leading up to to the new year. Um, if we pick up a couple of results, our league league position changes dramatically. So um, I know firsthand how frustrating it is. I've been in this position. We a couple of years ago, we were we were second bottom in the league, and we ended up making the playoffs. So, um, football can change pretty quickly, and we're looking to do that first and foremost against Stevenage on Saturday.